I want to speak to you about uh, the one topic which I believe all of you here will agree on. Football. Football is uh, truly unique and football unites the world. FIFA is an organization of 211 countries, more than uh, the United Nations, and we bring football to the world. Last month we were in uh, India for the girls under 17 World Cup, which Spain won. Next year we will return to Indonesia for the boys under 20 World Cup. And we unite the world through football. We encourage countries to come together to co-host events and World Cups. As such, next year we will be in Australia and New Zealand for the Women's World Cup. And then Canada, Mexico and the United States for the Men's World Cup in 2026. But coming to uh, the present, in five days' time, the 2022 FIFA World Cup will kick off in Qatar. It is uh, the first major tournament after the pandemic. It is the first time it will be played in the Middle East as well. And uh, I can assure you that Qatar and FIFA have prepared everything to ensure everyone is welcome for a big celebration and you are obviously all most welcome. And it must be said as well that Qatar made significant reforms over the last few years, also thanks to the World Cup. As a consequence of that, for example, hundreds of thousands of workers enjoy better conditions than some years ago. So three million fans will fill the stadiums and five billion people, five billion people, more than half of the world population will watch the games on TV. Entire countries will uh, come to a standstill. Now, dear leaders, you are, uh, of course, representing the largest economies in the world. So let me say one word about economics and, and football. Because uh, you might not know that the global football GDP is almost 300 billion US dollars. And whilst 90% of the fan base of football is outside of Europe. 70% of this global football GDP is produced within Europe. So just imagine the potential for the global economy if the rest of the world would produce even half of what Europe generates in relative terms and its impact on their respective GDPs all over the world. This would add another 200 or 300 billion in global football GDP. It would add three to four million jobs for a global football GDP of half a trillion or more US dollars. And this would contribute certainly to narrowing the income gap and growing global wealth, which are yours and also FIFA's priorities. But of course, football is, uh, as you all know, much more than just an economy. Football is also much more than uh, just a sport. It has a huge social impact. You all know what football means to your people, to your countries. It is about passion, it is about inclusion, it is about tolerance, it is about non-discrimination, and it is about education. Football is an investment in our children for our future, and football of course, as sports unites the world. And because football unites the world, the World Cup is an occasion to bring people together in peace, enjoy something deeply needed in the turbulent times we live in. Seven months ago in Doha, at the occasion of the World Cup draw when the world was watching, I made a plea for peace on behalf of the global football community. Today, five days before the start of that World Cup, I reiterate that plea. Football is a force for good. Of course, we are not naive to believe that football can solve the world's problems. 
For this, you are there. We know that our main focus as a sports organization is and should be sports. But because football unites the world, this particular World Cup, with five billion people watching it, can be the trigger for a positive gesture, for a sign or a message of hope. Dear leaders, Russia hosted the last World Cup in 2018. Ukraine is bidding to host the World Cup in 2030. Maybe, maybe, maybe that the current World Cup starting in five days can really be that positive trigger. So my plea to all of you is to think on a temporary ceasefire for one month for the duration of the World Cup or at least the implementation of some humanitarian corridors or anything that could lead to the resumption of dialogue as a first step to peace. You are the world leaders. You have the ability to influence the course of history. Football and the World Cup are offering you and the world a unique platform of unity and peace all over the world. So let's take this opportunity to do everything we can to start putting an end to all conflicts. Thank you very much.